Crestwood School District closed buildings on its secondary campus today. This comes after a person who was working in one of those buildings tested positive for COVID-19. The I team's Annie Mahalshik is in Wright Township with the latest and our back to school with Eyewitness News. Um, we were notified that one of the subcontractors and there's, you know, several subcontractors on a project this size tested positive uh, for COVID-19. And that led to the closure of the buildings on the secondary campus of the school district here in Mountaintop. Superintendent Rob Mahalik says the individual who tested positive for the coronavirus was working in the middle school building. So a deep cleaning was ordered. The supervisor of buildings and grounds showed us that cleaning process. So we have a few guys in here today. They're spraying everything down with sanitizer. The whole middle school where the gentleman was working. And then later this afternoon, we have a second crew coming in of our staff and they'll go through all the other the rooms again. Now only the buildings were shut down. The outside areas such as sports fields remain open. There had been no students in the building all summer. Uh, we do have staff members in the building. However, none of the staff were anywhere near the contract uh, the uh, construction sites. And this unexpected COVID-19 situation comes as the Crestwood School District, like others across our region, develop plans for keeping schools safe when and if students and staff return to their buildings. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, in the past, we've only had a handful of daytime custodians, and the majority of our crew came in at night to clean after school hours, which is normal. Well, now during the day, we're going to have to constantly keep cleaning high touch areas, restrooms. So we're going to have to look at our scheduling and bring more night shift people onto the day so we can keep up with with daily cleaning. Even minute by minute, we, we know that students and staff are going to be sick. Doesn't necessarily mean that they uh, will, will have COVID, but we have to treat everything like it's, um, you know, under suspicion to COVID. Leah Dietrich will be a junior at Crestwood High School this year, but she's not optimistic she'll be in class for very long. I honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I don't think school lasts that long with the contract and COVID and everything. Now, Rob Mahalik, like other superintendents across the region, tell me that education in the COVID-19 era is definitely a day-by-day -day process. They're learning something new each and every day, and they say, and they fear in many ways, to learn something new as the school year begins next month. Reporting live at the Crestwood Secondary Campus in Wright Township, Andy Mahalshik, Eyewitness News.